Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. In today's video, I will be unboxing and reviewing this Elegoo Mars 3 3D printer. The Mars 3 is Elegoo's latest update to their entry-level Mars series of printers. And the big selling point of this guy is that it now comes with a 4K resolution LCD screen, which should give you very high detail. So if you're interested in checking out the features and how this guy performs, stick around. Big thanks to Banggood.com for providing this unit for review. If you'd like to learn even more about the Mars 3 or you feel like this is the right printer for you to purchase, I will provide an affiliate link down in the description below and it'll take you to the banggood.com website where you can purchase this printer. Now onto the review. The printer came in the usual packaging, which looks like it had a rough trip this time around. Luckily, the phone packing material did its job and there was no damage on the inside. Inside the box, you find the printer, a manual, and a toolkit. In this toolkit, you will find the power supply, USB stick, wrenches and spare screws, a plastic and a metal scraper, a pair of side cutters, some strainers, some PPE, and a one-year subscription to Chitabox Pro. The subscription card came as a surprise. I mean, it's not cheap. I already have a Chitabox Pro subscription, and while it does run smoother on my computer, for me, the jury is still out whether or not it is worth the price of admission. Interestingly, my printer shipped with a European power cord. This printer can accept 120 to 240 volts, so if you have an adapter handy, you can use any cord. I decided to use this travel adapter instead of attempting to return the printer. I'm sure the return process would work out eventually, but it is easier to adapt the cord, or better yet, use a spare cord you may have hanging around from another printer, an old monitor, or an old PC, if you are like me, you probably have a storage container full of old cords that you just don't have the heart to throw away because there may come a day that you may need that obsolete cord, like in this case. Just me? Okay. To prepare the printer for printing, I need to pull the protective film off the screen, the vat, and the build plate. Power plugs into the back where it belongs, and a small upgrade from previous Mars models. The power button is now located on the front panel of the printer. As you can see, the USB port is also located up front below the touchscreen. Leveling the build plate is the same simple process as found on previous models, and within a couple of minutes from unboxing, you are ready to add resin and start printing. Before we do that, let's do a quick comparison of the Mars 3 with its predecessor, the Elegoo Mars 2 Pro. Even though the Mars 3 has a sleek new design, it is actually a physically larger printer than the Mars 2 Pro. Both printers use the same ball and socket build plate mount that I really like. They both use a single linear rail for motion and the resin vat is made from solid metal. The body of the Mars 3 is plastic versus the metal body of the Mars 2 Pro I assume Elegoo will be releasing a pro version of the Mars 3 in the future that may come with a similar all-metal construction. The biggest differences between the two printers are the location of the power switch, the build volume, and the resolutions. The Mars 3 has a build volume of 143 by 89 by 175 millimeters, which is about 24% larger than the Mars 2 Pro. The resolution of that bigger screen is the 4K versus the 2K Mars 2 Pro screen. That means I can now print with a pixel resolution of 0.035 mm or 35 micron versus the 0.05 mm or 50 microns on the Mars 2 Pro. Let's see how that new 4K screen performs. I hopped onto Chitabox Pro and sliced my usual test files, a Mandalorian, a Wood Elf, and a couple Amerilabs towns. I decided to put them all on the same build plate to see how well they would print together.
As expected, the Amerilabs town came out great. When I zoomed in, I couldn't believe that even the tiniest of the pillars printed. They were so thin that they had collapsed under their own weight, but they were all there. This is the first time I've been able to successfully print that feature. The detail in this print was outstanding. Likewise, the wood elf print turned out amazing. Every strand of hair, every vein on each leaf was present and accounted for. Finally, a look at the Mandalorian figurine. It looks amazing as always, but I feel that at this scale, it is difficult to tell the difference between the 2K and a 4K screen. Now that my resolution is 0.035 millimeters, I'm comfortable printing at a 0.035 millimeter layer height versus the normal 0.05 layer height. Here is a comparison of the voxel lines between the 0.05 millimeter and 0.035 millimeter layer height models. There may be a slight difference up close, but zoomed out, the difference seems imperceptible. That also goes for the difference between the Mars 2 Pro and the Mars 3. Ultimately, the resolution difference is negligible for all practical purposes. So what does that mean then? Is the Mars 3 better than the Mars 2? In resolution, in build volume, in print quality? Absolutely. However, those improvements can be so subtle that the average user is likely to overlook them completely. What we have here is a new model printer that is evolutionary, not revolutionary. And don't get me wrong, that is not a bad thing. This is a newer model, and it does cost a little more. But you are getting that 4K resolution and the larger build volume. I can easily recommend this as a great printer for beginners and printing veterans alike. This is my third Elegoo brand 3D printer, and I have been impressed with each one. They seem to know how to make a good, sturdy, reliable printer. So, in conclusion, if you are looking for the latest and greatest, if the highest pixel density piques your fancy, definitely go for the Elegoo Mars 3. It will not disappoint. If you want to save a little money and still get outstanding performance, the Mars 2 will serve you well. My hope is that once Elegoo perfects the process through these small evolutionary changes, they will someday bring us something revolutionary that could change the way we look at 3D printing. Until that time, I'm happy with the Elegoo Mars 3, and I think you would be too. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Elegoo Mars 3. Like I said in the review, it's not going to blow the previous versions out of the water, but it definitely is better, and it uh, is definitely an upgrade over the Mars 2 series of printers. I've really been impressed with this printer, and I just can't wait to see what else I will be able to print with it and how well I can make it perform. Once again, thank you to Banggood for providing this printer for review. If you have any questions about this printer, you can leave them for me down in the chat box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, click that bell for notifications so you won't miss out on any future reviews that I may have. Once again, my name is Tom, this is Southpaw Workshop. Thanks everybody for watching, I will see you next time.